guys. Welcome to the guitar lesson for Greta Van Fleet's You're the One. Um, for this song, now, normally in my lessons I say standard tuning like every song they do, but in this new album they've done two songs in, or more than two songs actually, in tuning that is different than standard. So, standard tuning for this one. Um, fairly simple song. I mean, the, the beginning riffs are quite tricky. It's, it's really well thought out, uh, honestly. It sounds amazing. Um, so the beginning riffs are can uh, consist of a D chord, A chord, and G chord. Those are pretty much the only three chords in the song. So you're gonna start off with a D chord, and um, you're just gonna keep the E string, your second finger off. So so it'll be open E. So D and then B string, G string, and then E string. So it's a bit of a weird picking pattern. You play the D, you skip a string, and then you go back, and then you skip a string again. So, And then when you're p putting your second finger onto the second fret, you're also toggling back and forth between the G string. So, so you'll play... And then you'll play that G string, or the A on the second fret. Right, uh, right until the end, right up till before you do the chord change to the A, and uh, hammer on to like the second fret on the B string. So, and this this chord same thing. So you're skipping a string, A string, D string, or sorry, A string, G string, D string. And then you're going to have your finger off the 2nd fret again, so... And then this one, you completely lift your hand off, play an open G string. So you'll play G twice on the 3rd fret of the E string. And then open G string up here, along with the D string. And then for this, you're going to play from the D string down. And you're gonna be putting your first finger on and off of the second fret of the D string. So make sure you're only playing the D string, G string, B string, and E string because if you play the A string and the E string, it doesn't sound right. So just. And you can actually keep your second finger on the third fret of the E string and then flatten it a little bit so that you're, or pull it back a little bit so that you're also muting the A string so that it's not possible to play the A, and then if you do end up playing the E, you're playing a G anyway, so it fits in the chord. And then it goes again. So that intro goes four times through, and then the first verse comes in, it does the exact same thing through the verse. goes through that four times as well. So four times for the intro, four times for the verse, and then for the chorus it goes D chord, G chord. So D chord to G chord and then back to D chord. G chord. G chord. It goes through that four times. So one time is happens four times throughout the whole chorus because there are four separate phrases that go for the chorus. Uh, once you get out of that, the fourth time through on the chorus, uh, it goes D chord and you just hold the G chord. And then you go back and you do that riff like you do in the intro. So right before you go back, so G chord, four counts, four, so I'll count it out for you guys. One, two, three, four. You go back into the same thing you were doing in the intro and verse, except this time it's the part without the singing is only two times instead of four like it was at the beginning. So.
goes back into another verse. And the verse, again, is four, four times through that riff. And then gets to the chorus again. Instead of holding the G chord at the end, you keep going through it. And now is where the keyboard solo comes in. So you're going to play D chord to A chord to G chord. So. start coming in um, on eighth notes of the, the beat, so, or sorry, it's, yes, eighth notes. So you go in, one, so twice through, so four times eighth notes, that's how many times, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then it goes into 16th notes. So. And then it goes back into the chorus. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then a little bit of silence, and then. It goes back into the chorus. So, chorus goes through four times for that chorus, and then it repeats the chorus again. And then the outro is the same amount, so same thing. So it's basically you're going three times through the chorus, so that'll be 12, 12 times of this. So that's once. You go through that 12 times because you're doing the chorus three times. Um, and then to end, last time. on a G chord and then it slows it down and then you go like you were doing at the end of the riff and then D chord with the open E and then you hammer on and that's that so um, let's just do a little recap so we got the intro for four times through That goes four times through, and then verse one, four times through, exact same riff, goes into the chorus, which is a D chord to the G chord. That goes four times through, and then on the last G chord, it's just held, and then the riff. Back into the intro part again, but for two times, or two times through that riff this time, and then it goes into the second verse, and then you go four times through that, like you would with the first verse, and then you go back into the chorus, Go through that four times, then you go into the keyboard solo, which is where the chords change. You add the A chord, so it goes through that four times. So you can see it's in sections of four or twos in this throughout the whole song. And then once you get to the end of that keyboard solo. chorus it goes through the chorus uh, the chorus riffs three times so 12 times of it goes through that 12 times and then at the end the riff again and then D chord where you hammer on and that's it for this lesson guys so I hope you guys enjoyed if you have any further questions or um, requests let me know in the comment section below um, and yeah, I'll have m many more lessons to come because I, I know I promised them throughout the week, but I had a super busy week with school. So sorry about that, guys. I'm here now, still the same week, but um, I'll try and get as many up this weekend as I can. Uh, sorry if I don't get to the one you want. 
The next one is going to be most likely uh, Brave New World. So uh, until next, guy, next lesson, guys, keep on rocking.